revolutionary it's your boy the revolutionary hippie so um all this stuff going on and I keep asking myself when we learn as people that we gotta arm ourselves man now I'm not I'm not advocating going out and shooting random cops you know but I am advocating advocate into fight back um, obey the law but if the law also says that you have the right to defend yourself against tyrannical government which means if you feel your life is in danger you have the right to fight for your life that's a human right you know um, there's a lot of stuff we could do as a community to empower ourselves to better ourselves and to stop this black hatred and it is black hatred I've had Indian people call me niggas I've had Spanish people with nappy hair call me nigga I had Mexican people call me nigga I mean they all felt my wrath afterwards but this black hatred is is global Everybody loves black culture, but hates black people. Now, in order for us to get past that, because we are a loving people, we have to fight back as people. Now, with that being said, I think everybody needs to learn how to box, jujitsu, train your dog. Every everywhere in the hood, they got some of the best pit bulls, white rollers, Doberman pinchers. German Shepherds. Utilize that, man. Go train your dog. You see something happening, some, you see a police uh, uh, abusing his authority, let your dog go. Because at the end of the day, you could get another dog. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they're here for. They're here to protect you. Just like a firearm is here to protect you. you know what I'm saying, you utilize what they have given you. Use their power against them. This uh, hands up, don't shoot. I'm not. I don't advocate that. I, I believe if your if if your life matters, fight for your life. Just like you would fight for anything. You would fight for what you love. You would fight. You know what I'm saying. You would fight against uh, uh, somebody trying to harm you. You should do that. Just because they got a badge on does not mean you cannot fight. You know. Uh, I forgot John versus somebody. Um, you could defend yourself even if that means taking the life of a police officer if you feel like your life is in danger. Now there's a catch-22 to that. Um, what that means is if a police is choking you, you cannot resist arrest. If he's choking you and you can't breathe, you tell him I cannot breathe. He continues to choke you. It's your right as a citizen. And to all my white friends, y'all gotta stand up too, man. Like, I hate the police apologists, especially the uh, uh, the, salt, the Republicans, because I do think there's a difference between Republicans and conservatives. Conservatives believe in anti-government, limited government, now, these these Republicans claim to be anti-government, but when stuff like this happens, they are quick to vilify and and back the words of a police officer instead of backing the words of their fellow citizens. We have to think about that, really. You know, are you are you really a conservative or are you a Republican? Because Republicans are racist. Conservatives believe in the core value of of doing for self, taking care of yourself, limited government. You know, so we all have to play our part and we have to utilize these the the we have to use their words against them, just like in the court of law. Everything you say and do will be used against you in the court of law. And that goes for the streets. You know, they say you have the right to defend yourself, so do it. They say you have the right to have a gun, so do it. 
you know, in our community, we love to get a gun. You know what I'm saying? I know so many brothers out here that have a gun, no record, get caught for the first time with a firearm, and that's their first record. When they could have easily registered to get a arm, firearm, I mean a, a licensed firearm, and been good when the police would have pulled them over and been like, yeah, I'm a licensed firearm holder, you know? And if you if you can't carry a licensed firearm, get a dog, train your dog. You know, right now, you fuck with me and I have my dog. I let my dog go. I don't care if you're a police or whatever. You gonna shoot my dog? All right, I'm gonna get another dog. I'm gonna train him again. They can't stop you from having a dog, can they? They can stop you from having a gun. They can't stop you from having a dog. I don't care if you're a felon or not. So we need to utilize we need to use their words against them, utilize the, the law against them, vote more, go to your Congress, write your Congress, write your Senator. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I advocate going to the police department and filing a complaint against police officers. You know, continue filing a complaint against police officers because what that does is that hurts their reputation, that hurts them getting a bonus at the end of the year, that hurts them. So a lot of police officers, when you come in to file, they don't want to file a, uh, uh, a complaint against a fellow police officer. They don't want to help you to file that complaint against a uh, fellow police officer. But you have, to, you have to make sure that you do your due diligence and do that anyway. They're going to try to tell you hey we could we'll talk to him no I don't want you to talk to him I want to file a complaint I want the internal affairs to investigate it I want this to go all the way hold put your knee on their necks now alright it's either revolutionary love or it's revolutionary war either one I'm with you know I want all of us to live together in peace but um sometimes in order to have peace you gotta have war you know and right now I've been saying it for a long time like hey love everybody that loves you but for those who want war show them why they don't why you don't want you don't like war because war is ugly y'all be blessed man